Hi guys, it's Elisa at Moe Cottage and we are making branded kumquats. I've picked the most ripe kumquats off the tree and I'm going to put them in the colanders so that I can give them a wash. And I'm just laying them out on the tea towels so they can dry. I pick off any little green bits on the ends because I don't want them on there. And I did leave a few on there when I was picking the fruit. So all I'm doing is pricking holes in the kumquats with a knife probably about halfway through and about five in each kumquat and then I'm putting them in a clean mason jar. I make sure the kumquats are dry and give them a stir. I love the smell of citrus, it smells beautiful. So this is, it's like aromatherapy when you're making these. And then you just cover it with the brandy. I'm not a brandy drinker, so I don't know what good brandy is, but I did get a good brand recommended to me at the bottle shop. So hopefully it's all right. Now, what we want is the brandy to cover the kumquats. So if they don't quite cover, I might pop those in the other jar. I'll make sure all the air bubbles are out. The kumquats are covered. Mm, and it smells really good too. And on top of that, I'm putting in half a cup of cane sugar. Just enough room in there. And then we'll put the lid on. As you can see, the sugar's gone straight to the bottom of the jar. Mason jars don't seal that great, so you don't want to be spilling it. So be careful that you're not tipping it up or anything. What I will do is every day I will take the lid off, give that a gentle mix up to try and move that sugar around and get it to dissolve. Pricking the holes in it will obviously let the citrus out and the brandy in and it'll all mix up with the sugars and the, the alcohol and the citrus flavours and it will just be a, a syrupy, beautiful burst of flavours. And after it's brewed for two weeks, we're going to take the kumquats out and then they'll be ready to dip in chocolate and they'll be ready for gifts or eating. And the alcohol we're going to put in dark containers and leave for another six months to continue to age and then it will be ready as a nice drink. We ran out of daylight and now we're back. It's been four days and all the sugar is dissolved. It took about two days for it to dissolve properly. And now you can see that it's a syrupy, citrus, brandy liquid now. I'll leave the details on how to make this recipe below. And I will be making a part two where I strain the kumquats out of the liquid and bottle up the liquid and dip the kumquats in chocolate. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss that. Thanks for all the comments that you leave below. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.